Hi, my name is Shear, and I'm the founder and CEO of ShearConsulting.com, where we focus on converting the existing data from your business into massive savings and extraordinary profits. Today, we're going to learn the basics of Excel. Let's get started. So what is the hyperlink function in Excel? Well, it lets us create shortcuts to a specific document or location within a document on your computer, from the internet, or on your network server. Let's go through a few examples to understand how it works. So here, I'm gonna go through the exact formula. I'm gonna highlight the cell, and I'm gonna see what's inside of it. So we have the equal hyperlink function name. The first argument is the link location, which in this case, I've referenced another cell which has it fully typed out. In the future, I recommend using it always inside here directly and not referencing a cell because it doesn't work in some cases when you do it this way. But for now, I've referenced the cell, I hit comma. The next argument is simply a label, notice the quotes because it's text, to I've put a label in to, to show the, the user how to click on this. It says, click to open Excel teaching template. So I'm gonna click on that, and it opens up another Excel workbook on my computer, and there it is. Let's go to the next example how to jump to a specific cell on an external worksheet. So here, here we can do the same function, and this time the link is in here. Notice the brackets to make it um, easier for Excel to understand. This time I've included, with single quotes, the name of the worksheet in the external workbook, as well as a exclamation point, and then the exact cell that I want to jump to. So let's try that and see what happens. I'm gonna click here, and instead of opening and putting the cursor over here, it jumped directly to F10, because I told it to. That's pretty useful if I wanna save someone the trouble. Let's go here. You can also jump to a specific range on a worksheet within the existing workbook that you're currently working with. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right here. So I'm gonna go and see what's going on. Instead of the location being C drive slash slash all my folders, it's just the name of the existing workbook that I'm working on right now. Uh, also, the single quotes for the name of the worksheet, which is actually down here, the exclamation point, and the range of cells with the colon in between, because that's the way of showing a range. We also have the label as well. Once I click enter and I click on it with the mouse, I get not only that worksheet, but I get a range of cells as I instructed Excel to do. Let's now go to a Word document, not just an Excel document, and we're going to get the hyperlink location, the name of the um, Word document as well at the end of it. I can also, this part is optional, include a string of text to search for and jump to once that document opens. If this is blank, it'll just open the file normally. But since I put this in, I'm going to search for the text transition to the slide. And let's see what happens. If I click on it, it'll open up this Word document, and there it is. Transition to the slide is currently where the cursor started at. You can do the same thing with a document that we grab from the web. So let's do it the same way, but this time instead of referencing a file on my computer, I'm referencing a website of Microsoft Word. <laughs> same exact thing, and this time I'm going to search for a string of the word notebook. Let's see what happens when I click on it. Do you sure, are you sure you want to open this file? Yes, I am. And there it is, right towards the text notebook test. Let's go back one more time to the last bit, which is just a straight up website. So if I type in a URL for howcast.com and I hit enter, it automatically turns it into a link that I can press and jump to the website directly. One last thing to note is if you want more information about the hyperlink function, you can go to the function insert function button, type in the name of the function, hit enter. Once it's highlighted, you hit help on this function, which brings you to this article, which has plenty of information about how this works, what the different arguments are, examples of it. There's lots of good stuff here. Check it out. And that is the hyperlink function in Excel.